Hi there. We all know the existence of a command called cat on all Unixes, including Linux. And I'm sure you know what cat command does. Unlike the favorite animal of, of many nerds, it's for concatenating files, right? We say cat a.txt and it just prints the contents of a file. Or you can concatenate multiple files by telling cat file one, file two, file three, and the output gets concatenated in one single stream. For example, if at all I have multiple files in here, like say uh, hello.c and there's a file called hello2.c which has nothing in this case. Maybe I like to try to say maybe testfile.c, testfile.txt. Yeah. So we just do a cat a.txt, hello.c and testfile.txt. It basically concatenates the output of all these files together in a single string. But do you know that in you know core utils, that is on Linux generally, there's also another command called and what exactly is TAC? TAC is cat spelt in reverse. What do you think this does? Exactly what cat in reverse would do. Well, when you say cat a.txt, you get the output in this particular order. But for some reason, if you want to print the file contents in complete reverse order, you could actually use TAC a.txt. Some of you might wonder, why on earth would somebody do this? Well, not very not very useful for files, but is most useful as a filter. Uh, many times you run some commands and uh, you want to reverse the order of output of a particular command. Let's take an example, ls minus l. I want to just reverse the order of it. Where do I do that? I could say ls minus l by tack. Yes, some commands have a built-in switch to print in reverse order. LS has such a feature, but you know what? It's so difficult for me to figure out what the switch is. LS has got too many, too many switches. It's very difficult to remember everything. But yeah, you can use stack as a generic tool to do this. Not only that, if I run TSAX process status, you can see a list of processes being listed. For some reason, I want to just reverse the output. So that I can see the first processes below, last processes above. So I can actually use PSAX by TAC. Sometimes it's quite convenient because, you know, your process output gets scrolled out. You might want to use your scroll bar, put it on a page, scroll back and forth. But otherwise, just reverse it and you can see the earlier processes, which are supposed to be printed on top, are now put, put in reverse. And this is what TAC is all about. In every other sense, this works just like CAT. It can take multiple arguments and it can actually print each argument reverse order. So if you just say maybe TAC a.txt hello.c. You can see a.txt in reverse, hello.c also in reverse. It doesn't make sense to use something like this, but you know what it, you know the deal. So this is what this command lets you achieve. Another simple, useful command, perhaps I told you I covered in Linux command line. If you found this video useful, please do comment and let me know so I could make more videos like this in the long run. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in the future videos.